Now I've got my fennel seeds and my dried chilies. I'm going to grind them. So grind it all until it's a powder. For that, we're going to add the coconut now. So, as you can see, we've grinded the fennel seeds, the chilli and the coconut together to make this powder. Preheat the pan, add 0% oil and we're going to add in the squid. So we're going to add in our chopped onions. And then we're going to add in our ginger garlic paste. And we're going to stir it in. And we're going to add a bit of our salt as well. So we're going to add in one teaspoon of salt. And we're just going to stir it and stir it until it's all mixed in. So we are going to close this pan and let it cook for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, here is the squid. It is cooked now. And after that, we're going to add our wonderful tomato. Add them in and look at this. The smell, it smells so good. The juicy flavour. So let the tomatoes cook for about three minutes. And when we added the onions, the tomato and the ginger garlic paste, when we added it all, it's made the squid super soft. But now we're going to add in our spices. So we're going to add in our chili powder our turmeric powder, our garam masala, our coriander powder, and we're going to add that all in. Look at that colour, it looks so amazing. I just want to eat it. But anyway, first, we have to add in our grinded coconut, fennel seed and red chilli. And after that, we will add in the bunch of curry. So if you compare it, so let's say we added oil and it will look the exact same as now. So look at that, 0% oil, healthy forever. We're going to cook this beautiful squid mixture for another 5 minutes. Let's see how the squid looks like. Wow, look at that. So all together, after the closing and unclosing, it should have been cooked for about 25 minutes. And wow, look at that. And it smells so good. I just want to eat it. My mouth is watering. At the sight of this. Now it's ready.
ready, so let's eat. And I'm going to eat mine with beautiful rice. Now it's ready, so it's time to eat, all nice and hot. Now make this at home, enjoy with your family. And instead of going to this restaurant because of this time of COVID, just eat at home. And what is better, going to a restaurant or making your own home cooked food that is so delicious that your mouth is watering at the sight of it. So thank you all for watching, God bless you all abundantly.